Uh, boss, um, <clears throat> I know you were very keen for a construction update on our big, bad, very, very evil galactic star killer. <laughs> um, the thing is, we've kind of, um, we've kind of, I might have run out of metal. What? It's the metal. It's, it's, uh, we, we've, we've kind of, it's all gone. But that doesn't mean I want you to panic. <laughs> what do you mean? Mine some more. The metal on our home planet. We've, we've kind of used it all up. Well, have you tried? Recycling? Yeah, we've tried that as well. We've tried everything. It's, it's, boss, look! What? Oh, yeah, look at that! This is 16 Psyche. It's an asteroid that's captured the attention of a lot of people, and not just alien supervillains, because it's thought to be chock full of precious metals, estimated to be valued at... One billion dollars. 15,600 quadrillion dollars! I don't know anyone who needs that much money. Asteroids are basically the leftovers of our solar system's creation over 4.6 billion years ago. Now, most of them are rocky, made out of silicates, which are pretty common here on Earth. But others contain metals like iron and nickel, and even gold, silver and platinum. In fact, scientists think that some of the Earth's supply of these rare metals could have come from ancient metal-rich asteroids. Now, NASA has sent a spacecraft to explore 16 Psyche in its first ever mission to a metallic asteroid. It'll spend the next six years travelling 3.6 billion Ks to Psyche's home in the asteroid belt, so we can learn more about its makeup. Scientists suspect Psyche is actually leftover core of an old planet. And so, by exploring it, they hope to learn about Earth's interior. Psyche gives us the opportunity to visit a core, the only way that humankind can ever do. But it also helps us understand how planets form in the first place. But while for NASA this is all strictly science, some see this as a step into the sci-fi realm of asteroid mining. Mm, I like the sound of that. Oh, that's just fantastic, boss. Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry. And as we burn through more and more rare metals on Earth, some reckon asteroids could provide a rich new source of materials. And unlike mining here on Earth, we wouldn't have to damage the environment to get to them. But of course, just landing on an asteroid is hard enough. Getting this 250 gram sample of rock from the asteroid Bennu costs NASA $1.6 billion. And mining one is still way off. The legalities are a bit rocky too. And there are big questions about who would have the rights to bring home asteroid ore. So you could say there's still a lot to iron out. But in the meantime, we can all look forward to our first up-close look at this strange and distant lump of rock and metal. That is, if we don't get there first. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I, I don't know, I thought we... Get out of the way! <laughs>